to Barbells and Beauty and today we're just going to be doing some random decluttering. Um, I'm just trying to get some stuff decluttered that I am no longer using, don't want to use, no longer want to have and uh, yeah let's just get started here. Uh, first off is this Tarte Knockout Tingling Treatment. This is a brand spanking new bottle back when the Last year at one of the um, uh, Sephora VIP sales, um, I picked up two. I used the first bottle. It's okay. It's nice. I just, I don't particularly care for it all that much. So I'm going to be selling off this second bottle probably for about what I paid for it, which will be less than the normal. So if you're interested in this, I will put a link down into my Poshmark site. So look for that. Um, then it's this. This is the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette. It is the original. It is not the remastered one. Uh, most of these, I've had this for quite a while. Mo these three shades right here are pretty much hard pan. Um, I just never liked this palette as much as I was hoping I was going to. So, and to be honest, um, I have the Bad Habit dupe of this. What is it? Is it the Athena or the Aphrodite? I don't remember. I'll put the name right here of what it is. And I actually like that one a little better than I do the Huda Beauty version. So, again, I, I will give my daughter first dibs on this. If she doesn't want it, then it'll go on my Poshmark as well. Uh, let's see. See, let's just keep going with eyeshadow stuff here. I've got a little basket of goodies here. Um, this is some little cheesy thing I picked up. I don't know. It was one of those little Amazon things, and I picked it up. <laughs> the quality is kind of crappy, so I'm just going to get rid of that. This is an extremely old Laura Geller baked eyeshadow duo that I have had forever and I think it is past its prime. So I'm just going to throw this one away. Um, this is like an Ulta Shimmer Shadow in Royalty. This was one of those, you know, it sits out on the counter right next to where you check out. And the quality of this just kind of sucks. So I'm going to get rid of this. This is a Flower Beauty eyeshadow quad. I did a review on this, oh gosh, a long time ago, a couple years ago. It's nice and all, but it does not last on my eyes as long as I would like it to, so I'm just going to declutter it. Another thing I'm going to be decluttering is the Laura Lee Boss Babe. I've already gotten rid of Party Animal. So Boss Babe is next. It's, it's actually a better quality than Party Animal, but I just don't reach for it. I have other palettes extremely similar to the Boss Babe palette that I reach for more, so I keep it. And then last, I think, for eyeshadows, yes, is the Morphe 35N. Yeah, I put a little label on it so I could tell. Um, I don't know, it's just... It's okay. It's not horrible. I just never reach for it again. I have other palettes that have extremely similar shadows to it that I reach for more. So why keep this one around? I have no idea. Um, I might actually put the Laura Lee Boss Babe up on my Poshmark. Um, the rest I'll let my daughters have or I'll give away. So, well, let's move on to a couple foundations. This Sunday Riley Influencer Foundation, I really liked it when I first got it back last summer. I used it quite a bit, but here lately when I've been putting it on my face, it just, I don't know, it looks like a hot mess on my face. Um, I've tried different primers, I've tried different, even some different um, skincare under it. It looks horrible! So I'm just going to get rid of it because... I like to put makeup on to look nice. And then this Bare Minerals Bare Skin Serum Foundation. It, I went through an entire bottle of this back three or four years ago. I, this was one of my all time favorites. And so I'm like, oh, I'll get a new bottle of that. Yeah, I really like this. I don't know if they've changed the formulation. I don't know if it's my skin has changed. 
I've used this three or four times. It's like, what in the heck? It doesn't look all that great and then it doesn't last on my face and so it's gonna go away. Yeah. I've got a couple items here. This is something I got I think in my Ipsy bag. Balance Me Congested Skin Serum. I don't have congested skin. So yeah, I it's not going to show up, is it? There! I don't have congested skin. I don't need a congested skin serum. So, yeah, whatever. Uh, I've got this Murad Skin Perfecting Lotion. Again, I think I got this in a FabFitFun box a while back. I have used, you can tell I've used it a little bit. Uh, it's a nice moisturizer. I just have other moisturizers that I like better. This is another Ipsy bag thing, a VDL multi-layer primer. Yeah, this is one of those primers that uh, puts, that puts like sparkles and sheen on your face. I don't like that. No, I have oily enough skin. I want to mattify. I don't want my skin to look more oily. And this makes my skin look more oily. Let's see. Oh, I've got this Cover FX uh, Glitter Drops. I mean, it's really pretty. I just don't like this kind of highlighter. I just don't like this kind of highlighter. I prefer powder highlighters, what can I say? Uh, I think I got this one in a FabFitFun box as well. I think I'll put this one, I don't know. I might put this on Poshmark and sell it for just a few bucks. Just cuz. Uh, let's see, then I got some lip products here. Do, do, do. I've got this L'Oreal Infallible. What is it? Lip paint or liquid lip. Um, I like the formulation. I had the color just, it just isn't my kind of color, so... I'm going to get rid of it. Then I've got this Dose of Colors No Shade. Um, again, this I think was from the first Daisy, Desi and Katie collab. It is gorgeous. It is wonderful. It looks beautiful on the back of my hand. And when I put it on my lips, it looks like nothing. <laughs> it's like my skin tone. And I've tried it, you know, with different lip liners and glosses and whatever and I'm just like <laughs> it just looks like I don't have anything on my lips at all it almost looks like I don't have lips it just blends away then I have these little two Sephora lip pencils um I got a whole set of well I've got a red set and then this you know kind of brown nudie kind of set um, this one again has the same thing with the no shade. It kind of just blends right in to my skin tone. And this one, I, I don't know, I just didn't like the color on me. So, I like all the rest of them, so my money wasn't wasted. And then last but not least is this Maybelline Brow Precise Fiber Volumizing Mascara. It is for your brows. And this is what the wand looks like. Uh, it's, it's just a little too thick of a wand for my sparse areas. You know, like right here. Um, and the color just wasn't quite the one I like, so why keep it? So there you go. Just a few random things that I am going to be decluttering. Um, like I said, link down below to my Poshmark site if you are interested. Uh, I've got mostly makeup and a couple pairs of shoes and eventually as I go through more closets and shoes and purses, I will be putting more things on my Poshmark site. So uh, yeah, I feel pretty good about getting rid of a few things out of my ever-growing makeup collection. And so with that, I'm going to say peace, love, and take care of yourself. That's the nurse's orders. Bye-bye.